Hi there, a quick review of the SodaStream water carbonator. And this is the one we got. Uh, there's a link to it below this video. And the way it works is you, um, when you purchase it, you get a, they call it a carbonator. It's a CO2. It's a CO2 canister. You get this bottle, which you put your water in. And I think you also get this, I'm not sure, but uh, you'll have to check. This is a uh, flavor mix, which you put in the water. We don't use it very much. It is does have a lot of sugar in it. And we just basically use this to uh, carbonate the water because my kids and myself like the uh, bubbly water. So what you do is, uh, by the way, this does not plug into anything, so that's the cool thing. It's really light. Uh, it's a lot of plastic. Keep that in mind, no big deal. So what you do is you turn it around, you take the back off, take the safety cap off the CO2, you screw it in, nice and snug, okay. Put the back back on. And then after you fill up your water to the line on the bottle, take the cap off if there's a cap. This little mechanism comes forward. So you stick the little thingy in the hole of the bottle. You don't screw it in. You just push it back and it'll stay. And then you push this part down, and there's uh, one drop, three drops, five drops. One drop means that it'll be slightly carbonated. Three drops is uh, fairly carbonated. Five drops is really carbonated. So um, the CO2 canister obviously will last longer if you keep it in the one to two area, but you know, however you like it. And you push down. There you go. A few drops, no big deal. And now you have carbonated water. So you can go ahead and put some of that in a cup. See, it's pretty carbonated. Ooh. Yeah, that's just fine at, th at three. If you're going to use the uh, flavor, just put a tiny bit in. So I contacted SodaStream and they told me that one CO2 canister will last uh, for one month. In, in other words, one of these every day. It's just 30, I think it's 30 ounces, which is pretty good. So if you calculate, calculate that over time, um, it's pretty close to like, for example, buying a case of the uh, soda water or the uh, you know like Calistoga type water at Trader Joe's or something in a case. So... Um, you're probably going to save some money over time if you're pretty good about it. Uh, and also, it's better for the environment rather than have all those bottles floating around. So, um, hopefully that helped you out. If you, uh, you want to get it, go ahead and go to the link below the video. I do get a tiny little commission, as I mentioned in my other videos, from Amazon if you do order. It doesn't affect the price of this, uh, but it helps me make more videos like this and hopefully better quality ones as we move along here. So, um, and if not, just go ahead and search for it. There's different versions of this soda stream. They have, you can get, I think you can get bigger kits, smaller kits. I don't know, but this one's really good. It's under a hundred dollars. And oh, by the way, one last thing is that when the CO2 canister runs out, you bring it to the store, your local store, which carries them and you exchange it. So when you do exchange the CO2 for a newer one, you get a discounted price on it. So I, I exchanged it today and uh, normally they're around t anywhere from 25 to 35 dollars but if you exchange it they take 10 dollars off at least they did at our hardware store Ace Hardware. So it was only 15.99 for one CO2 canister. And uh, so that's something you want to keep in mind. If you have to buy an extra one it's uh, you're gonna pay a premium which would be what uh, 25 to 35 dollars depending on or you can Ordered online, which they're usually a little more expensive. So, just a little tip for you. And uh, anyway, hope that helped you out. Thank you very much, and we'll see you later.